Everybody, welcome, for this is a very special video. As you can see, I have nothing to open. And in fact, my playmat is dirty. Or do I have something to open? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see, shall we? How about over 100 booster packs? You guys in it for the long haul? Because I am. We have got an interesting mixture of things. Now, if I recall correctly, I should have about 18 packs of breakthrough. Let's see. There's three, six, nine, ten. Four and four. So there's 18 packs of breakthrough. The other 100 packs. Are all Guardians Rising. I swear to the Heavenly Fajoff Pokemans. If we don't pull like a double colorless and a Tapu Lele out of this. I'm going to be confused. And upset. So if you guys are ready to go down this long journey. Of over 100 packs with me today. Let us begin. So, uh, I think our best bet is to start with the breakthrough, <laughs> as there is, uh, about half a box worth, or not about, it is half a box worth of breakthrough. We have, like, a mini booster box right here. Uh, but something else that's exciting, okay, how these packs shred, just kidding. Let's see, which way do these codes go? Okay, so it is this way, so this is a white code, so we're already off. To getting something here but as i was saying uh i actually went out and bought a new camera i i got the new camera already i just went ahead and made the investment uh, it is a video camera with a long battery life it should last about four hours uh, which sure beats the 12 minutes my other camera was getting and uh i think it's gonna allow us to do longer videos like this more often so i gotta find the sweet spot here there it is we have a zorua ralts pampor Vanillite, Panseer, Go-Goat, Town Map, Bihakamimian, Spupa, and a Dodrio. Maybe Breakthrough was pre... Pre-Codes. Anyway, I think with the 100 packs, we don't really have time to slow roll. We just gotta bust through them, you know? And see what we can get. It, ha, ha, holy shit! Second pack, we're already getting a secret rare Mewtwo. Holy crap. Can't say I expected that at all. Holy lord. Well, we know these packs are going to be some winners. Look at that. Holy shanakanakis. Already off to a good start. That's what this set is known for. That and Bridget. We are looking for some Bridgets. Bridget is an uncommon card. And you know what? It's worth like eight dollars. My phone keeps going off. What else can we find? We've got a parallel city reverse. God, that's beautiful. And an aromatist, I believe, is our rare. Yup. Oh my god. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Where have you been all my life, baby? These packs are fire! Ralts. A reverse is a Zerua and an Evil Tall Hollow. That card used to be incredible too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Off to a decent start here. And by decent, I mean a really good start. First pull out of the second pack of over 118 packs. What was a secret rare? How do you beat that? 
fisherman and another aromatist. We'll pull out that float stone. That's worth a couple dollars. Fisherman, I don't know what you're going for these days, buddy. But a reverse hollow is always worth something. At the Houndoom pack, maybe we can pull ourselves a Houndoom. All right. We have a Doduo and a Bravery. Braviria. Whatever the hell you want to call that bird. We've got one. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> oh, that pack. That pack just almost came undone right there in my hands. All right. What do we got? Bring us the goods, a professor's letter, and a Houndoom full art! Yes! I was just talking about the Houndoom. Of the Parallel City? What was that? A reverse hollow professor's letter? Man, this set is loaded with goods. Yeah, I think that code showed itself, so there you go. Oh my god. I am loving these packs so far. Houndoom is one of my favorite Pokemon, so to pull that is uh it makes me quite happy here we'll sleeve up this parallel city evil tall not really worth anything anymore so we're just going to put it in our hollow rare section actually here we'll do this we'll put our what i would consider fun hits down here there we go <laughs> so if you see me looking up like this from time to time it's because I, my camera has a viewfinder that i can rotate and uh, I can actually see on screen and everything. There's another parallel city. Holy crap. I guess I really only need to worry about the reverse hollow ones. But um, just for the sake of consistency, we'll pull them all out for now. One thing I do like about the X and Y series and black and white and stuff is that uh, there's not an energy in every pack. Which is honestly just one more pile for me to sort. And I'm lazy. And I don't like sorting. Got a Ralts and a Mega Glalie Reverse. Or Reverse? What the hell am I talking about? It's not a Reverse. It's a regular Art Mega Glalie EX. With the Cryo Mouth Attack. Go ahead and sleeve that while we're at it. Alright, on to the second half. And we're getting better pulls out of half of a box than we would have out of a full box so far. Magnemite and a Typhlosion Hollow. Typhlosion is a deck that people actually dabbled with for a little while with the massive eruption attack. Uh, you just put a crap ton of energy cards in your deck then just use massive eruption and uh, you get some big boom boom. Big boom boom. Alright, going in, going in. Lebebe, Chatot, and a Simisage. Still not a single Bridget to be found, unfortunately. Chatot is a rare. Um, so, I don't... I feel like I've missed a hollow rare at some point, but it might have just been these big guys up here. Here, I'll do that. I'll take uh, Typhlosion and Evil Tawn. Put them in the correct pile. Here's just our fun stuff. Get these codes out of here. I need to organize myself a little bit better, especially if I have 100 more packs to open. I hope you guys stick around for the long haul, because this is going to be a fun video for sure. Definitely my longest Pokemon video to date, so... <laughs> um, but I found a good deal on a Facebook page that I frequent of people buying and selling cards. Uh, and I couldn't pass up the chance to have a huge pack opening. Because uh, I think it's a hell of a good way to start the year. With some good pulls and some good vibes. Trying to be as positive as I can in 2018. 27. Ooh, there's a Mr. Mime with the Bench Barrier. I love that card. I was actually looking for one about a week ago, so there it is. Heck yes. I will pull that out just because it is a great card. The reason why Mr. Mime is so great is because it prevents all damage from attacks uh, to your benched Pokemon. So if you have uh, like a baby Tapu Koko out there, ah, nothing really there. Like a baby Tapu Koko who does 20 damage to all of your Pokemon, it would only do 20 damage to your active, and all of your benched would be safe. Now, if you're going against like a Decidueye GX, where they can use Feather Arrow, which is an ability, for, which does damage to your Pokemon, Mr. Mime will not stop that, as it's only from attacks. But there is a Machoke card that came out in Sun and Moon. Um, 
Oh, that's that's two Raichu back to back. There is, uh, like I said, that that Machoke card, which prevents all uh, damage done from attacks and abilities. Uh, the downside, however, is that it is a stage one, and running a stage one tech uh, is a bit of a risk. So let's see if we can finish this strong. So far, nothing. So far, nothing. We got plenty of pulls out of the first half, and then really nothing out of these. Not even a single Bridget. I have to say, I'm a little upset. I was hoping to get at least one Bridget out of here. We still got a chance. Cyndaquil, Star Raptor, and a Halucha. Nothing else there, unfortunately. Making me a little sad. Um, oh, there's the Halucha. I was like, where the hell did my rare go? All right, last pack of breakthrough. Then we're going to clear the board and hop into Guardians Rising. And there is a lot of it. Spritzy and a Simapore. No Bridgets, but that is okay. I mean, how can you beat starting things off with a secret rare Mewtwo? That was, that was a huge shock to me. Uh, and I absolutely loved it. So <laughs> we will uh, we will shuffle this stuff because we're not gonna have room to keep all of our pools up here. I'm sure. But uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sleeve the stuff that I want to keep off to the side. I'm gonna clean up my mess a little bit. And we're gonna get ready for the next wave here. Um, sorry, so these are my rares. Oh shit, I hit my microphone, acting a fool. All right, let me, let me create some piles here. This is going to be nutty, y'all. <laughs> We've got so many packs, it is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I don't even know what to do with them all, other than, of course, open them. But there's so many that I'm intimidated by them. Alright, so we have a bit off camera here. There is a stack of packs. A huge stack of packs. And uh, I'm going to have to organize things a little bit better. So I want to try to keep all of our hits from all of the packs we open on screen. Here we go. And I'm just gonna have to find a better place to put all my commons and uncommons because unfortunately they just get in the way. Move my mouse out of the way so I have a clean slot here and uh, let's go in. So clearly we are hunting for Tapu Lele's. I would love to hit a secret rare double colorless energy. And we're just gonna see what, oh, oh, okay. So I see what's going on. We're already off to a start with two birds. The damn birds. The birds always attack. <laughs> I think with 100 packs, I'm not even going to worry about sorting. I'm just going to worry about that after the video. Oh, there's an Aqua Patch. I mean, I'll still pull my rare and my uh, my hollow and my energy, but I'm going to stack all that stuff separately later. Once I get into a groove here, we should be just fine. But, um, man. Oh, there's a Golisopod, one of my favorites from the set. Uh, so I am going to go play Pokemon tonight. At the time I'm recording this, it's 1 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon, 10th of January. My leagues are on Wednesday nights. So I'm going to go play tonight. I haven't played in... Oh, man, it's been, been, a, been a little while, honestly. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. There's a League Cup coming up in, uh, the, on the weekend. A League Cup is a uh, just a tournament. That's really all it is. It's just a type of tournament uh, that allows you to win what are called CP, what are championship points, which is uh, how you qualify for the Worlds Tournament. We got something. Full Art Vikavolt GX. Oh my goodness. But, uh, so, going back to what I was just saying. Sorry, I got myself distracted there by some pools. Um, I won some championship points earlier this year. I placed fourth place at a, uh, the League Challenge, I think it was. I don't remember. Um, but you need 400 of them to qualify for Worlds. And Worlds is in like six months. So the season's almost like... <laughs> it's already a good 
chunk of it is gone. And uh, I just, with, with work and everything, I wasn't really able to take the time I needed to travel and play and, and really participate. So, it's okay. It happens. Um, but I'm going to try to take advantage of the time I have left this year or this season with the game and, and, and play it and enjoy it and, and hang out with friends and just have fun, you know? So, uh-oh, I got some gas coming. Uh, anyway, um, I don't even, we still got two huge bags. I mean, this is a, a about three boxes worth of cards total. Um, <laughs> so, you know, imagine my box openings are usually 20 minutes. So this video I'm going to imagine is going to be close to an hour. So if you guys, like I said, are in it for the long haul. Uh, I appreciate it. I think it's going to be a fun little opening. And by little, I mean a huge opening. Oh, there's a Mallow Full Art. And hopefully the pools just keep on coming. Wouldn't that be great? If we can get a bunch of good stuff here, I will be super happy. And if not, I'm still going to be super happy. Because who doesn't love opening jack ton of cards? Here we go. So far, nothing but Full Arts, really. We've pulled one regular EX, but everything else has either been a C Do you see that, right? That that's a reverse hollow. At the top of the pack. These are these are all reverse hollows. What's going on here? And then an Alola Nine Tails? And then everything else past it is What? What? We just had an error pack. <laughs> See, that's a common, uncommon, that's a rare. That's a common, that's a common, that's also a rare. And then an energy, and then our uncommons. Huh. So, maybe we're going to have multiple packs like this? Oh, uh, that was really weird. I've never seen an air pack that actually had an ultra rare in it as well. That was crazy. Man, this this opening is going to be fun. We got air packs galore. <laughs> or pools galore, air packs. I, I want to see if there's more like that in here. That was really cool. I don't think I've ever had that before. There's... <laughs> what is going on here? The double Mudsdale pool. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. This is funny. So these packs all came out of uh, collection boxes. Whether it be like pin collections, or tins, or uh, Tapu Coco boxes, things like that. So the, the pool rates are going to be different than that of opening just a straight booster box. Um, so that's why we might see some crazy weird stuff like this. But uh, I think I, I'm enjoying this so far. We've seen some goofy stuff. Started off strong, we had a, a Mewtwo EX Secret Rare, like I said. And now we've had an Error Pack? I'm curious to see what other fun stuff we can come up with in this opening here. Oh, there's a code for you. Here, I'll, sh I'll show off once every once in a while. There you go. There we go. Yeah, I still have to somewhat sort a little bit here. Or else it's just going to be mayhem. Mayhem. Brooklyn Hill and an Oracorio. Because the birds love to be bird-like. Oh, well there went my pile. I destroyed it. Alright. Brought my trash can from the kitchen in here so I would have room. The birds are right back! Oh my god! Here's that Machoke I was telling you about. So this ability reads Daunting Pose. Prevent all damage done to your benched Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters on your benched Pokemon either. So it is, uh, it basically just stops all damage to your bench by whatever means necessary. Um,. Which I think is great, but it just didn't really see... It's hard for it to, to really see play, because, you know, it, that's a great card to run if you're playing a Machamp deck, but... If you're playing a Machamp deck, things aren't going to go so well for you. 
got a reverse hollow rock rough. There we go. Start a new pile here in a second. My bulk stack's getting big. Is your bulk pile big or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Here, get, get out of here, pack. We have a reverse hollow slowbro and a garbodor. Garbodor. Or garboder. You know, whatever you want to call it. I personally don't care. You want to call po that Pokemon Jarbo Jarbodar? I whatever, man. All power to you. I'm not gonna hold it against you. Oh my God, the birds, the birds, the birds. Bird is the word. I don't like that word. Get it out. All right. So so far, our pool rates have been a little low for the Guardians Rising. Lampant and a, oh my God, another bird. We'll have to do like a bird count later or something. Once the video wraps up, we'll have to go through and pull out all the Oricorios. Because I know there's going to be like 30 of them. If not even more. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. Trat. Got a Comfy and a Sand Slash. You know what? It's not a bird this time, so I'll take it. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit more so I can stop hitting it every time I set down my bulk. Plus, you might be able to hear me a little bit better. It just, it's ugly to look at, so. <laughs> Give me something here. Sudowoodo Reverse. I'll take that all day. And, uh, that's about it. That Sudowoodo can actually stay out. That's a playable card. Put it down here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh! Rip that crap open. Alright, there we go. Lowland Sand Slash and a Salazzle. We may not see another GX pool this entire video. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. We've opened like 18 packs in a row or something crazy without getting a GX. Which makes me sad. We haven't seen anything good since the Air Pack. Bring me the goodies! There it is! There's a Toxapex full art. I will take that. I will take it. Alright, Sudobudo. Bring us luck. Bring us luck, young man. Keep doing that. These packs are sticking a little bit. Alright. Open, open. See if we can hit a streak here. Choice Band Reverse. And a Swellow. Yeah, choice band them right not. We'll keep you down there. Hang out with your friends. Alright. Let me make a new pile here. My bulk pile got huge again. Alright. Back in. Back in. Oh my lord. Jengma O oh, and a Sharpedo. Sharpedo is one of the worst cards probably ever printed. It is just pure hot garbage. Sorry if you like Sharpedo. I think Sharpedo's awesome. Apparently Pokemon Company doesn't. Because that card sucks. Alright. Please, oh, we got ourselves a Hollow at least. We got a Lolan Golem. Nice. Vernas, Vernas. And we're on to the second half of our booster box. I wonder if I was even close. Is this actually close? The 18 packs. 2, 3, 6, 9, 12. And it was 14. It's not too far off. We still got a lot more to go. <laughs> we gonna be here all day long. Gligar and another bird. What the hell? That's not normal. Four energy cards. What a joke. If I had actually gotten that pack, in real life I would have been pissed off. Like if I had just bought one pack, and that was all I got, was a reverse hollow Gliger and then four energy cards. <laughs> so we've seen two air packs now. There's a max potion and a sand slash. <laughs> 
Things are getting interesting here today on the Pokemon opening with Big Jiggle Panda. Things are getting really strange. I guess that's uh that's retribution for the 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 error pack we had earlier, right? The one that was actually full of good stuff. Hakamo -o and another Toxapex. Unfortunately, the Psychic GX that we want is a is a whatever whatever you call it, Tapu Lele. Yeah, him. Tap Lele. All right, let me get you guys off screen because there's no room. And uh, we're going to start doing some organization here. We need to condense our stacks so we can fit more Porchamins. I never sleeved Toxapex. There we go. Does that work? Here, we'll put Mega Glalie down here. Got all of our full arts. Oh yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll put our full arts and stuff up here. Our regulars, and then just whatever the hell's here. Yeah! Does that work? That works for me if it works for you. I think it works. Let's do it. Alright. Hopefully we get enough to start filling up this mat a little bit more. I want to see this thing stuffed. Gudra and another bird. The birds hate us. Well, actually, they love us. That's why they won't go away. But they want to spite our pools by showing up so frequently that I just actually hate birds in real life now. Salazzle and a Sand Slash. Nothing else worth tooting our horn about. Tita, what is up? Carvana and a Whiskash. Still hitting a slump here. Still hitting a slump. We have gotten pulls out of Guardians Rising, but none of them have really been good pulls, if that makes sense. Like, the full art and stuff is nice. Oh my god, the Oracorios. And, and uh, just getting full arts in general is always nice, but not really when it's like some of the worst cards in the set. <laughs> If that makes sense as far as hype or ultra rares go. Arvana and a Lilligant. Man, this is rough. We've definitely hit a rough patch here. Breakthrough was loaded. Breakthrough was absolutely loaded. Hell, we opened up 18 packs of Breakthrough and we got, what, one, two, three actual hits. One, two, three, four if you count the Parallel City and 18 packs. And we've opened... Far more than 18 packs of Guardians Rising. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at the difference. We're just not getting much here. But that is quite alright. There's something. Oh, God. A Komo'o. <laughs> you can see my excitement when I pull a Komo'o. Another card that is not playable. Really at all in the TCG. Uh, but a pool is a pool, I suppose. So we will take it. There you go. I mean, with uh, with Gardevoir being still a threat, Fairy decks are still a threat. Playing anything Dragon type that can get one shot by just by getting looked at the wrong way, it's not a good bet, especially when you need four energy cards to attack. Mo uh -oh is just unfortunately not a very good card. Um. I understand people like Kamo. -Oh. I'm not saying he's a bad Pokemon at all. I'm just saying he's a bad card. Ah, <laughs> uh, Reverse again. I'll take it. And a Drampa. Hello there, my old friend. My old good friend, Drampapa. Do you guys know Drampapa? I'm special. <laughs> my hands are starting to get a little tired. So are my vocal cords. Uh, Gliscor and a Whale Lord. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, last pack of this stack. And then we're gonna open up a new bag here. Carvana and Ace and Slash. 
All right. So, things got a little rough there, which is okay. But, allow us to make more large stackies of cards to open them. What's going on here? You know what? Let's just get the whole thing out here. Boom. Look at that. So many packs. So many packs. Alright, let's just start taking them and ripping them. I'm literally ripping it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, what's in it? Oh, another Kamo! Oh my god! Leave me alone, you stupid dragon! I don't- I don't want your card! Your card is poo-poo! Poo-poo, I say! But I suppose I'll sleeve it. If we don't get a single Tapu Lele here, I'm gonna be seriously upset. <laughs> I will cry tears that will fall from my face like a salty river of sadness. It's gonna be sad. No one wants to see it, I promise. Alright. Let's grab them packs randomly here at this point. There's so many of them next to me. Had a little. Bellsprout in a Gudra. Oh, I gotta move this energy stack. This is in the worst place in the world. Here we go. All right. Keep it moving here, keep it moving. Appreciate you all sticking around this long. Watch me open these packs and continue to get jack shit out of them. Oh, down here. All right, please, Aquapatch Reverse and a Heliolisk. Continue to hit Jack Shiitake. Jack Shiitake. Uh, oh, I guess that goes there too. Nope. Open. Open. Aqua Patch and a Mimikyu. Oh my lord. I mean, we know these packs aren't Wade. I, I don't want to accuse anybody of selling Wade packs. But good lord, the distribution on these, uh... On these collection boxes must just be hot garbage. Because look at this, we continue to pull nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it breaks my little heart. Especially considering I dropped a good amount of money on this. <laughs> another Oracorio. Another Rockruff. Another crappy pack. Got plenty of Rockruffs here. Rockruff is popular because uh, Lycanroc has become such a big deck. I said big deck, I promise. Chansey and a Whiskash. Unbelievable. Here I am thinking, oh, we're guaranteed to get a couple of good pulls. I can't even get pulls at all, let alone good ones. Look here, let's put something into perspective for you. We have five, ten, ten hits. And of all these cards, only one of them is currently playable today. And only one other one, being the Mewtwo, was really ever playable, uh... At all. <laughs> the rest of them are just set fillers. Garbage that doesn't get played. Which, to me, um, as, a, as a competitive player, uh, I don't really care so much about collecting the new sets. They're, they're so mass-produced. They really don't hold their value for things that aren't really worth anything. And uh, it just kind of stinks. Because there's certainly cards in this set that are playable. Now it's just a matter of finding them. There was a double bird pack. Is this is this the process we're gonna go through now? Unbelievable. 
Alright, well, this was gonna be a fun pack opening, now it's just gonna be me complaining about cards for the next 20 minutes. Stuffle and a Whiskash. This almost seems unrealistic, doesn't it? <laughs> Wilmer and a Sharpedo. Alright. That makes you a little suspicious. <laughs> Here we go, here's a pack that's upside down. Inside of the packaging. Well, some of the cards were, but not all of them. Interesting. <laughs> it's the most interesting thing we've pulled in the last five minutes. Oh, look, another Toxapex. Terrific. Terrific! I'm not even gonna sleeve it. It's worth about a dollar. I'm just busting through them now. Nose pass and another nothing. Why are you doing me like this, Guardians Rising? Why are you doing me like this? Trevenant, Oracorio! Because the birds are the birds, and they are here to stay. To haunt me. And make me regret doing this. Dabbing Machop, Stuffle, and a Gotha. Gotha. My favorite psychic Pokemon. Cotney, Phantump, and a Delmise. Nothing there. A trap and a Probopass, a giant nose Pokemon. Big giant noses. Who would have who would have knowed? Who would have nosed? Whatever. Another nothing. It's not even worth like firing through them at this point. We already know what it's gonna be. A whole lot of nothing. Come on. Piece of shit. Here we go. Whisk cash and another bird. Alright, seriously. How many how many pools do we have from this set? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight pulls, and we have had to have opened, like, 70 packs so far. That is real bad. Real bad. And it continues. It continues. I'm starting to get mad. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, opening packs is always a gamble. There's a Turtonator, but still, this is... These pull rates are very low. This is very, very low. Turtonator GX is at least a decent one. I will take it. Still waiting on a Tapu Lele. Or a secret rare of any sort. A gold would be great. There's another Gudra. There we got a stack of codes there. I just sort of gave up on the separation. I'm sure you can tell. I'll I'll just tackle it later. We just need to get through opening all these packs. There's just so many of them. Again, nothing. This has been a huge, huge dud. And I am so sorry. I wanted this to be so much more fruitful. And we just continue to pull fucking nothing. Here, let's organize this garbage. Alright, let's leave these little little guys here. Put them down here. Let's spread out our full arts a little bit since it does look like we're ever gonna get another one. And uh make it look like we have more pulls than we actually have. <laughs> we gotta cheat the system. Trick the system. Cast form and a salazzle. Carvana, Sand Slash, and another Whiskash. Packs are stuck together. Some like glue on them or something. Does that mean there's gonna be something in it? Oh, of course not. Alright. 
Come on. Hey. Hey. There we go. There we go. Blissey and a Talon Flame. Nothing else. Whale Lord and a Proba Pass. This is ridiculous. And I am. <laughs> I'm sorry because one, I'm I'm visibly upset by it, and two, because it's not very entertaining to watch me file through a bunch of cards that have no value at all. Literally none. And a Vanillux and another Salazzle. Just nothing, nothing, nothing. It continues, it continues. All right. Bliss score, Salazzle again. Holy fuck, how many is that in a row? Like three Salazzle? Come on now. Give me something. They guess a green code? Yep. May as well just not even look at it. Green code. We're at this point now. Green code. Green code. Isn't this fun, guys? Isn't this awesome? Green code. I'm convinced there's not another hit in here. Green code. Green code. Green code. Green code. Green code. Green code. These gotta be weighed. I'm sorry. This is this is fucking ridiculous. There's no way in hell that there's this many green codes. I just don't see it. There's a nine tails. Wow, whole oh, wow. Forty packs later we fucking get something. Unreal. Alright, well. Let the fun continue, shall we? White code. Oh, a hollow rare. And green code. As you can see, the joy is gone. Another green code. White code. And a hollow. Ooh. Alright, so I've learned my lesson, everybody. Don't waste your money on loose packs. Because they suck fat wieners. And green code. Sorry, I'm just kind of tossing them around. At this point, I'm really, they're, they're literally like pennies. Hate the Paradise and another Mini Ore. Yeah, we're not going to get a Lele. Sorry, y'all. It's not going to happen. Garbador. Two packs left, and we can end our suffering. Because this has been absolutely terrible. Finally! And our last pack. There we go. 100 packs later, $275 later, and this is all we get. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at our, at our bounty here. It's pretty pathetic, honestly. You consider the fact that there's less than $100 worth of cards right here. But let's see. Let's separate our full arts.
Okay. There's that stack. Okay, well, let's go over it, shall we? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's still low. That is still really low. But we have Mewtwo EX Full Art, Mallow, Houndoom, Toxapex, and a Vika Volt. We got one Tapu Lele, a bunch of Kamo'os, and a bunch of Tart Tarta Bruta Bruta Pex. And a Parallel City. Parallel City honestly might be my favorite card that we pulled. Just because that Reverse Hollow is beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? So there we go. That's what we get. 118 packs. Just nothing. Just really nothing in it. So. <laughs> there we go. I get to clean all this shit up now because uh, these boxes were garbage. And uh, I am so sorry that it wasn't better uh, and that it pissed me off to the point where I just started throwing shit because, uh, I mean, who, who wants to keep looking at packs that just have, I don't know, ooh, a Whale Lord, an exciting, or hey, look, it's another Oracorio, like, fuck out of here. Who wants to look at Oracorio? So, yep, that's all. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm getting out of here. Peace and chicken grease. See you next time.